have to worry about running my truck over. So I stopped the loading process. I went around the other side of my truck where I could get a good picture of this thing, and I could see this thing spiraling in. And as it was spiraling in, the clouds, it looked like a fog bank in the, in the sky above me. Just uh, the, the sky started changing colors, and it, and it looked foggy almost in this one area. It's tempting this. And it had this weird light. There was a group of lights about this thing, but the, the weirdest light was right on the very tip of it. The leading edge of it was it had the most weird flash you ever saw. It, it would be like flash, 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 pause, flash, flash, pause. And it wasn't anything like a repeating like, light like you'd see on an aircraft. And, and I thought, well, that's the oddest flash pattern I've ever seen. Well, this was the first thing I think. It was coming out of the fog, and this, this light was flashing this weird pattern. And all of a sudden, I could see it looked like an arrow tip coming out of the fog. And I'm thinking, what in the world is this? And then I see this light, what what I've been calling the light, is actually something hot. And it's reacting to the air passing over it. And it has this weird flash pattern like you've never seen, that this thing is just flash, 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 then pause, flash. And then you can see a little bit of sparks and stuff fly off of it. And I'm like, okay, that's not a light. That is something hot that's reacting to the wind passing over it. Well, this thing, I'm thinking, well, this thing has to be, you know, it has to be completely out at some point. It looks like it's going to be V-shaped crap, but it just keeps coming. It keeps coming out of the fog, and it keeps coming out of the fog. And then finally, the, I'm realizing, man, this thing, what I thought was going to be something fairly small or a group or something, this thing is monstrous, man. I mean, this is giant crap. This thing, it's a and it ended up being a V-shaped craft. Each half of the V is a half mile long. And and you can't picture what something this big looks like passing over your head. I mean, I've seen some B-52s and stuff like that fly over, and I've been to air shows and ain't never seen anything this big. This thing looked like it went 100 yards on both sides of me. It was passing slowly over me, and you can, like, you can hear this in the video that I took. You can hear and you can't even see the craft yet because I'm thinking I'm taking a picture of it. I've actually got a video running, and uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even pointing the camera at it yet. So all you, you hear the sound of the truck engine change as this thing's passing over. It's almost like the barometric pressure of the area change. This thing's passing over. I'm looking up. I'm seeing like craters and hit burn marks, and it looks like impact marks. Like it's, It looks more like the surface of the moon than it does anything you can imagine. I mean, there's huge impact craters on it, burn marks, solid rock. It looks to be solid rock, not metal, solid rock. And this thing is in a, and it's got a spear tip is the first thing I see. The other part of the V is a good ways over and I actually couldn't even tell that it was a V-shaped crap until it it, back, it, got, it went away from me and then came back and made a, a half a circle later. All I could I looked over there and I could see, it, man, it looked like it was a mile away. I could still see the bottom of the crap. I was thinking it was just one huge monster crap. But it's, uh, later I found out it, you could see the V. At one point it tilted just enough that I could see the V instead of it being one solid cigar-shaped crap. And uh, this thing just kept passing over me. And, I, and I, at this point, I was thinking, maybe this is not a UFO. Maybe this is a, a meteor. My God, maybe this is some kind of a giant meteor. Well, you know, I just survived a UFO that came in there to try to duck me. Here it is 10 minutes later. Now I'm fixing this after surviving a damn meteor strike. So uh, it, it's, at this point, I'm just pretty, like, I'm pretty shook up going, my God, what next? You know, is this a meteor? This thing looks like a meteor. Except all of a sudden this thing passes over me and it, and it appears to be slowing down. I'm like, okay, meteors do not slow down. Then I've seen a huge pipe-like structure coming out of the rock on the bottom of it. And I'm going, okay, well, meteors don't have pipe structures coming out of the bottom of them. So I'm thinking this has to be a mothership. You know, there's no doubt that i just seen a UFO. This is the mothership, part of the same bunch. And this thing is slowing down, slowing down. And then the first part of it that passed over me, now all of a sudden it starts pendulating up. It starts rising up. The, the front part of it, you have to realize it's half a mile away. The front part of it starts pendulating up. Now, this thing is shooting up in the air like a, like a skyscraper. Like, I mean, you have to figure it a half mile. 
I don't know how tall the Empire State Building is. I don't know if it's a half mile tall, but this thing, you know, five thousand, you know, a mile is fifty four hundred feet. So yeah, twenty five hundred feet. Uh, this thing is rising up in the air now like a skyscraper. It's like a twenty five hundred foot skyscraper out in the middle of Central Texas. You know, this thing is rising up in the air. And I'm sitting there watching this, and I'm, I'm looking at my camera. I, I'm looking at my display screen, and it's you, it's not. I know I, I, I've got to get a picture of this thing, but I want it to be a good picture. I want it to be something that, that has some merit. I want it to be something that has some weight. I'm running out of space, and I know it. And it's got to be good. I'm looking at the display screen, and what I'm seeing is not worthy, not worthy of taking a picture of you. I mean, you would see it, but you wouldn't have any idea what the hell it was. Somebody could just say I was taking a picture of a rock in the dark. So I'm looking for that that amazing shot. I'm watching it. This thing, all of a sudden, it pendulates up, and then it stops going upward, and it's just hanging in the sky. I mean, something this big just hanging there, not making a sound, not dropping in height. I mean, just hanging in the side. All of a sudden, this thing starts to move. It made the it made the smoothest transition you could ever imagine. I mean, it made a ninety degree turn, and it was so smooth it actually slowed to a stop. And as soon as it stopped, it started going the other way, slowly and smoothly. And then it started accelerating so rapidly that once it changed direction, that it was just unimaginable. The jet didn't have anything on on the speed that this thing took off. I mean, this is this thing is it's right here over North Central Texas. I filed a, a FAA low craft report over this siding, and uh, and the FAA they did their little investigation, and we had a phone conference meeting, and they told me that all known aircraft in that area were accounted for, and they should that I should report my UFO. The term they described what I was looking at to New Fork National UFO Reporting Center, and they give me New Fork's number to report this thing, and uh, and, and it just it's like okay, so I don't know what it is, and apparently the FAA don't know what it is either. But if a half if a mile long craft can come in in the north central Texas and fly within a thousand feet over the surface of the Texas ground, that's supposed to be what we call our airspace unprovoked, undetested, and it, and it's like, well, whose airspace is it really? It certainly isn't ours if something like this can come flying in. And uh, and this thing, it took off so so smooth, so fast. I mean, next thing you know, this thing is blitzing away. Now, I still haven't taken my opportunity to catch a picture yet, so I'm starting to panic. I'm going, my God, the way, the way this thing is moving – I may miss the shot altogether. If it keeps going that fast and accelerating that speed, it's going to be out of sight in no time, even as big as it is. So I'm starting to panic a little bit. And I'm looking at my display screen, and there's complete blackness. There's nothing. There's I can't even – this craft is huge in the sky to the naked eye. You couldn't miss it if you were there. You couldn't help but to see it. It's over the trees everywhere. It's filling the whole sky. The biggest part of the sky at times is full of the craft, and there's no doubt that anybody could see it. If you were there, and I'm looking at my camera, and it's showing me a black display screen, and my heart just sinks because I'm thinking, my God, this is the most amazing sight that anyone had ever seen in the history of man, and I'm not going to have any evidence to prove it at so whatsoever. The opportunity of a lifetime is fixed to be blown, and I'm just my heart just sank. And I'm just saying, you know, I'm not going to let this thing get away. I'm going to point out of the camera at it, and I'm going to take my shot. And I'm going to be steady. I'm going to be still. I'm going to try to get the best shot I can. So I'm aiming my camera. I'm steadying myself. Well, all of a sudden, this thing does something I did not expect it to do. And it did its speed. I I can't imagine how it could even do it. But this thing did an absolute flip. I was looking at the bottom of it. It flipped. It flipped in the air and and, and did a 90-degree turn. And it was coming straight back to me. Almost like a boomerang, it went, and then all of a sudden it came back. It started coming back, but this time at the bottom of it flipped away from me, and for the first time I could see the top of this thing. And the top of this thing 
was a V-shaped craft, and it and it had you could see structure on the top of it. You could see towers. You could see lights. I could see a fluorescent glowing blue power line looking thing that was growing this bright blue neon light that stretched across the surface of it like a power line. And I could see these odd structure buildings. I could see a huge tire that had the the largest light source on the whole craft on it. I could see a row of burning flares. It was like these giant jetting flares that were like shooting this large burst of like they were burning like a refining process or something. There was they they weren't jets like propelling anything. They were just burning. Uh, burning some kind of flammable material and blowing it across the top of the craft. I don't know if it's for man. It may be for making clouds, you know, or something like that. I don't know what it was doing. You could even see the smoke stream from the from the fire that this thing is. Whatever's burning is it's kicking out some smoke. And uh, and you know you could see in some of the pictures I took there on Google that the, you could see the smoke stream on this thing where it's burning. And uh, like I said, I took this picture from a mile away, and it did its flip, and I, and I and I clicked my camera. Well, this thing, I got the picture of the top of this thing, thank goodness, in my video, and it drops a little bit. It starts coming back at me, and my camera uh, took the video. It's like 15 seconds of footage. I caught the left half of the V and the top part of the craft I got. On top of the craft, I've got the buildings, the structures, and stuff like that. It's all caught on this piece of video. And like I said, this video is it's not a great video. But what we were what we've been doing as of late was we started breaking this uh, video down into still frames and using the, some of the best software that we can find. And uh, here in I think in about 2006. I went from seven still frames that were just terrible to 26 still frame images. And in and, and those still frame images, what I thought might happen did happen. I was looking for that sweet spot in the video where the camera's eye, the camera's lens, the lighting and the movement and everything. And I was looking for that clear picture, that, 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 that needle in the haystack of a blurry video. And and that's exactly what we found. I found that there's several areas in there when the camera's eye was just at the right place and certain parts of the craft come really clearly into view and you can really see what's there. And what's what's there is very odd. It, it, you can't say this thing is secret space program. This thing looks like it's never been touched by human hand. I mean, just the, the way the buildings are, they look like something that you might find on the ocean floor. Uh I mean, it actually, hell, it may, this thing may have been underwater. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it almost looks like coral on the surface of this. Of the buildings look like they have a coral coating on them almost. And uh, like big two, three-story buildings just stacked tightly together. And and so we start, I started looking, I'm looking at this thing and I'm, I'm looking through the steel frames and I'm trying to find stuff that you just, you know, and some of the stuff I found was, I found this, the first thing we come up, there's this lady on YouTube actually saw it before I did, and she started pointing out, hey, man, there's this big four-legged creature there on the snow. What? And kind of crackpot am I talking to here? I mean, I'm looking for alien artifacts. I'm looking for machinery. I'm looking for anything that I can identify and, and I got someone telling me there was a creature on the surface of this thing and I'm like right right and they finally had to tell me okay you know I, you know, I ain't going to doubt you I'm just saying can you circle the part because this is like a big craft and this is a big picture and there's a lot in it and I'm like okay I don't know if what she's telling me is big I don't know where it's located I'm like well, tell me what you're seeing where you're seeing it so she drew a circle around it and I and I looked at that, and I zoomed in on it, and I got some pe- clear pictures that nobody had ever seen yet. And I zoomed in it, and I'm like, "Oh my God, what in the world is that?" You know, I've been looking, I've been staring at these pictures for years, and never saw it because I wasn't looking for creatures. I was looking for alien artifacts and stuff like that, machinery stuff like that, and I never looked for a, a creature. Well, there's this. It looks like a dog looking like a pit bull looking creature and you can see the muscle in its legs you can see the tail on the thing and it's got this weird head it's got this big flat face 
two horns like a bull on it with a flat face that almost looks like a damn snake. And uh, I, I just, man, to this day, I'm just 